Hello and welcome back. Right, so we have got to get, yeah, we've got to get these things done. Myself, did I actually load the course? I did. Right, let's get that going. And we need to let's remind myself where did I st Ah, that's right, I was going to grab the Windrow, wasn't I? I think I even got it ready. I did. There we go. Right, yeah, we are going to get this an awful lot of work to do. We've got mowing and windrowing and all sorts. So yes, we're going to get this done. We're going to be juggling. So I'm going to literally go straight into a time lapse because this seems to be the norm for this Let's Play. It is work, work, work. And yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it really is work. So with no further ado, I am going to say to see you guys and gals on the other side.
Right. That is about that. Yeah, we're, I'm gonna let uh, yeah, for once I'm not gonna do a massive monster session. Yeah, this is gonna be a sort of like a reasonable one. Gonna have a look to see how well we've done though. Not as well as I thought, actually, funnily enough. This I was right, the um Edge of field 17 is an awful lot more grass on this side of the thing than the other. I mean, not that that's terrible, but yeah, if we look at the other, I think it was just over 100 tons in the other Hessian farm, which was far less than I thought, but then again, sometimes it is what it is. So, yeah, that's the big one that we did yesterday, a lot more in that, and obviously, that was also the field. In that one, there's a. It was 108 actually. No, nearly 109. So that's that's very good, really is. And how much in the actual silo? Because we did put quite a lot in there. We will run that over next session. Or shall we do that now? Wow, 7771. Let's have a look. How much? 79 tons. That is quite a lot. And the hay, right? We will do that. We'll grab the, yeah. I'll, otherwise, I know what I'm like. I'm only going to forget. Uh, do I need to keep this leasing? No, I don't know. I know it's hour and day, but if you, if I keep this, do I get charged an hourly rate, or if I use it, I just get called a day because I'm going to hire it again in the morning. Let's te let's test it. Never really understood the lease, and I don't do it often enough to actually warrant. Right, let's think about this. Yeah, I'm going to need that as well. I want to. Yeah, I'm going to need to grab the two. Yeah. Now nah, then this is going to be this. This is the where the fun and game starts. Yes, I'm sure you've noticed me pushing the uh, things together because it seems to be the only way I can get this to work with how good I am at the uh, swivel axles. It's not just that it's swivel axle, though. It is also the fact that it's a swivel axle plus another one. It's not just... I, I am... I'm not brilliant at it, but I can usually manage a swivel axle, but a swivel axe and another one, not so much. I'm not very good though, I am not trying to brag about how good I am, I'm not very skilled at it, I'm really not. Let's see. In fact, yeah, actually that, let's try and push it. It does actually work quite well, there's a certain element of uh, yeah, trying to get it right, the right angle on the sort of push inwards at the same time as pushing. Yeah, and that's not quite right. Yeah, we'll try and push it into the left a tad. It does work though. It's not yeah. And I'm only I'm only persuading, I'm not like using a big hammer to do it. I'm only pushing gently, he says. With a sixteen point six ton beast. But I am being gentle. If I pull that out a little, I might get lucky. Might see, yeah, it's not quite in the, but it is in the range. It depends how it's feeling. Now, it isn't brilliant, but yeah, sometimes you can be a little bit lucky. You can be close enough. Not today, though. If I pull that out. Yeah, I did think so. Right, so we should be able to do 36. Thousand one hundred in a go, so that's about two or three journeys. How many times? There's no one of a chat. Yeah, next session I'm going to have weeded, but it's not perfect. Yeah, it's um, as good as I can get. It's not, no, really, it's not spot on right grass. Let's do that first. We will sell that little bit of sorghum as well. That's true. We need to look at the production. I keep saying that. Let's have a quick look to see if we've still got potatoes. Yeah, they're not going down now, are, are they? They're not. Water plenty. Pig food. I don't even know I'd even... What does... I don't even know pig food was there. That's what that other th crate is then. Wrong one. Well, let's have a look what's on special sometimes. Yeah, that's what it, what, what it was earlier. Right, productions. Let's have a look. Pig food. Didn't even know I'd actually. Oh, I've switched everything on, didn't I? I can't see pig food though. 
even in any of those Ugh. that's really bizarre how can we produce pig food when this does not produce pig food <sighs> right well the mistress of the universe Meat, but leave the little one in the way. Could have put that in a worse place if I tried. Right, 36, so at least a couple. I think uh, we might get away with the last little bit. Oh, my life, that is a serious hill. Yeah, I think we'll put the last three or four tons in the one over this side. I'm sure we can manage that. Amount. We did a lot better on the edge of the field. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. Is, is almost, it's definitely better than it was last time. Yeah, as he says, as you can see, some grass over there. But yeah, no, it was good. I am quite pleased. I did leave quite a lot. But uh, yeah, 15, 20 tons, which is a considerable amount. There's a tad there that I've missed, but again, nothing awful. Yeah, as you can see, this is a quite a large section. I think I should have actually grown this properly that would have produced quite a good amount of grass whereas it's just traditional yeah it's not quite so you can't fertilize it that's what we're going to do next time though we're going to fertilize around the sides of the edges of the fields we'll turn our spreader down to the smallest it can go which i think is 16 meters and we will whiz around the edges of all of those because and lime as well you know, like we did a few a couple of sessions ago was very effective it does make a difference so yeah we will do that of course not in areas like this that, that doesn't make but these areas here at the end definitely helps where well, you've actually done it as fields yeah That's, did I, yes i did i remember yeah i can even see it i limed and fertilized field two last last session the session before session before i think First one left. Yeah, there's the odd little bit like that, but it's hard to get in at that one. It really is because I mean I could do it, but it's it's gonna be literally a few tons. I'm not worried to that extent, even though yeah, I know what I keep saying about Yeah, not quite as much grass as I thought from this area, but still, nevertheless, it is when you consider still good. And also, we did actually, no, we didn't actually, we did not take any from this area back at that end. So, this is all, yeah. So, we did get an awful lot more grass that side than this. Yeah, definitely. did do badly off the new fit, but again, actually, that was a little bit disappointing. Yeah, it was. I did expect quite a, it was It is quite a large field, and it wasn't super duper. In fact, I would say that 80 tons was from that. So, yeah, I thought it was a little larger than that, but it's, it's, it is what it is. Yeah. Again, this is something I'm not sure of with the fields. There's weird things happening to precision farming. So if that really is playing with game mechanics, then it could re literally be doing all sorts of weird and wonderful things to percentages. So, yeah. It is what it is. Yes, these two fields should be the June or July. We'll have a quick look. Yeah, we'll uh, grab this next lot take that and then we'll have a quick look at the harvest just really to oh wow that is more hilly than i thought wow i don't really never noticed how hilly that was until over there Whoa. okay wait for him. then i should go thank you very much car say this is a very thirsty beast it is it is a 16 point 
seven ton bees though, so it is a heavy tractor. Got a big tank, but boy does it use the uh, fuel. It really is. It's one thing that always but it is a good good all rounder. It is yeah, it's got its foibles, it has. I have to keep saying that, but it is a cracking tractor, it really is. Should just about nearly do this. Yeah, the last little tiny weeny bit we will. Ah no. Wrong one. Probably just about enough for me to do this. The other thing is, like I said as well, I can actually always use the trick of because this produces this cycles on this are for grass and they also do cycles for hay. So it's equally as I could turn, yeah, I could turn the grass into hay if we're getting close to to get the more cycles out of this uh, which is something I didn't think of when I was discussing this the other day I can so we could lease a tether unless we see one on super duper very very reasonable price in the morning chances of that are exceptionally fine we have not been the most lucky in fact we've been exceptionally unlucky for our am I supposed to know no, let's not throw it like that Dominator was a very yeah. This still almost there's not much in it between us buying that or leasing, but at least well, no, it's it's not much in it. It's the bottom line, so it was it's not a waste. It was I never thought I could have put at that end of that field there actually the Hessian farm. Still actually it would have then been closer to that. I'd actually quite like where we put it. It's definitely closer to field two, which is the biggest. Yeah, that's going to be the biggest sort of thing that we do. I'm trying to think, no, I'm trying to think strategically, but yeah, May, June, July, August, June, July, August, three months. We shall see. I'm going to work this out before next session to see if it is if we can do a proper big cut three. But then we're going to hit the yeah. No, we will do it two growth stages. I think we'll still get another cut in probably on the last day if we do the field two but also it means that tomorrow this will be at first growth stage so we won't be cutting it then and that means that we can leave that and then the next day it will be the barley harvest and this I think I think I'm right we shall see in a minute in fact that is something we could have a quick look at now I'm sure it is ah it is next month it is June yeah, so we will have field two and the barley harvest next month. Or should do. Should be ready. We did plant early. So one thing we did do. Why are you not showing me the tip? You are on left. Uh. How bizarre. Why did that second thing not actually show? Well, that's going to be hard to. was a little bit too close. So very strange. Well, it's done. I don't mind. Let's have a look then. So, how much have we transferred over here? Should we nearly two hundred thousand? Yeah, getting on for that way. So, yeah. Wow, it doesn't do it quickly. Amazing. Right, we'll grab the last three or four tons and we'll stick that in. Yeah, into the other one. I'm sure of that it can manage. Yeah. 
we are. That one is the one that's the closest to being completely filled. So if we're going to do anything, this one also. Oh yeah, it's, it's May, June, July. Yeah, that is a point. That can only do 240, the one we just done. So tomorrow, we may need to convert. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Actually, thinking about it, it, sh it would be able to have 360 by the end of today. But then, obviously, tomorrow that means 120,000 tons less. So that means it's only 240 in both that it can process for the next two months. So yeah, that one's again. We've got no more to put in it for today. But it does also mean that we not now need to start converting any grass, I think we do now, into hay. So that it starts to recycle on the hay. So there's 240 tonnes of hay we could stick in both. So, not bad. Right, let's drop those two off and just grab the one. just a few tons of grass and a few tons of hay which we should run over to this one yeah this is left perfect right Yeah, I'm sure those potatoes though I don't think it's cheating I just think it's it's wrong it just they seem to have been that same amount all of the time so that means they're not going down which then means it's not really there I, I don't know what to say yeah this doesn't seem to be it's not kicking out any income because of it although it did produce yeah it's hard to say it really is This one is about as full as it can get, but I'd, yeah, going forwards now, the rest we've got to do is definitely hay now. We can't put any more grass in either of these because we're running out of cycles for grass. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit finickety. Yeah, doesn't like it too close. Let's pull out a little. Ah, there you go, you see. Too close. Right, so that is everything we can do. Oh, we are getting tick-ups though on the hour. The energy business, that is definitely going up. Now then, silage. How are we doing in this? Because we need to keep this top tall. Ah, you see, that's gone. It's just what I was saying about halfway through and later on in the day. We won't do that now though, we'll do that oh, I'm a terror for forgetting though. I'll tell you what we will do. We should put the silage into these, if nothing else. That will be a reminder to me next time to dump these in. Yeah. We definitely we need to fertilise the grass as well. You still got my indicator up from ages ago. Please don't tell me that's been going all that time. Right, so silage. This has got quite a bit. Probably nearly put all of that in. How empty the hopper looks. That's pretty much a full load, which should take all of that. I think that accepts all for it. Yeah, it does. Thank goodness for that. It's 
worked out quite well with all of these. That's come in really handy, the forage wagon as well for that type of thing. Not what you, I expected, but right, and that is where we're going to leave it. We'll quickly have a very, very small chat. And we'll turn time down a tad while we're chatting. Yeah, rains are going to come in a little while, so I'm be lucky because I think it was soon. The rain, I think it's, yeah, so we're going to fertilise and lime. Have a quick look at precision farming now that we've chopped everything on that that we can see, of course, because, yeah, some of it looks awful. Now you can see, yeah, and you could also see the fact the, yeah, it's the field edge has gone funny because we've cut that. I'd have to run a manual course. Right, so that's 80. Wow, that's low, nearly all low. That's amazing. Right. Yeah, the pH is looking. Oh, yeah, of course they are. Those, th yeah, it's that one. Oh no, that of course I've done that one. So I've got a pH. Actually, even 19 is not terrible. I could get, probably get away with, it, but I'm not going to. Nitrogen's a different matter though. Yeah, field two. I did nitrogen it. I did it manually to get it to the best. But yeah, it looks like 19 at least is actually working. We need to fertilise all of this as well and pH all that we've cut along the field edge. That's weird, that's not showing either. Yeah, so it, it, it will do it all manually anyway. I'm not going to worry about it, but yeah, we'll do that. I'm trying to think, I'm hoping now, I think it's 16 metres as goes down to it, so there's going to be a bit of wastage on the fertiliser, but yeah, we've got to definitely maximise that. Digestate, what's that up to now? 56 tools. Ah, that is the thing we did say we wanted to look at. Prices, next time it went high, we needed to do it. So let's have a look. What is the price of Digestate at the slurry yard? We said next time it went up, no matter what, we needed to do it. Oh, I can't see if you look in. My eyes are not. Digestate. Ah, it's still on the drop. It's 1,200 not is the... Yeah. We've still got some time, but I've got to look for one of the ups each day, I think, before we do that. So, yes, tomorrow we... Can, let's have a look. How much to lease a small tether for converting it to... Yeah. Hey, that's a 4.4. Now, there is a reasonable one. No, why... Oh wow, I didn't realise there was a tedder. We should buy, I think we'll buy that one. Never mind about anything else. I didn't realise we got, the Rasselmash did that as well. Seven metre, we shall indeed buy you. Do you charge me more? You do? We should stick it on yellow then. At least we can also tell which one's the tedder and which one is the windrower. So we will buy that, that is just unbelievably good value. So yes, what we're mowing now, we shall now be mowing and tethering stroke windrowing. Yeah, definitely. So that is the way forwards for the rest of all the mow we've got to do because say we're running out of cycles on both of these now with having almost 200. So we've got to fertilize and we're going to speed time up but not sleep. We need to be keeping this topped up to make it the maximum out of this. Yeah, we do. So that's what we're going to do next time. And on that note, I am literally going to sling my hook. I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you're going to continue on this journey with me. Things are getting further on in the year and we aren't looking terribly good. But we have, this is what I was saying about the cycles. Our productions are heavily into producing. We are feeding this and we will get a good tick and we've got a lot of digestate. But whether we are going to hit the 800,000, obviously we've got 200,000 in that field, is anyone's guess. It really is. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah I'm not sure. It's, I'm not sure we're going to... That is the point as well. Are there any contracts? Oh. Yeah, that's horrible weeding contracts still. Right, okay, that's it then. Right, I am going to say my goodbyes, and I really do mean it. We've discussed, I think, everything that we've done. We've looked at everything we've done this time. We've seen what we've got in. 
keep this top top at tea time as well, so we get a maximum out of this. Yeah, it's still got some in the minute, so it's not, not doing terrible, but yeah. Look for the high price on the digestate, get that sold. But again, it's all... Yeah, it's not... It's still an awful lot of money to produce. That seems to be weird. That's not working right either. It is just seem like things are conspiring against me. I'm sure it's been at 326971 always, which means it's not going down. And yet it is saying that it's got... I don't get how the pig food's working. Let's have a look at this. Cause building storage. Why has the building storage got pig food in it? I have never, ever bought... It can't even produce pig food. Can it? No. I don't get it. I don't get how pig food appeared in this one evening and just appeared. I don't get it. Very strange. It does say building storage, pig food. <gasps> is it a byproduct? Oh. Maybe it is. It is definitely should be there. It says building storage, so maybe it is then. Okay, so we can sell the pig food as well. So that's that's an advantage that I didn't really, didn't sort of think of. Anyway, yeah, I am I'm tired and waffling. So, yeah, we bought another very reasonable. Got the tether now for turning the hay in the morning on the big field. All of these fields and the field edges are going to be resting, but we do need to get them fertilised and limed. It shouldn't use a lot of lime because it, the pH is good still. It's 6.5 out of 6.75. So technically, it's an absolute smidgen, truthfully. So it should literally go over everything we've done with lime without absolutely destroying it it should be a quite a nice saunter almost as good as fertilizing this time and then the nitrogen yeah that's that's going to take some doing so yeah anyway this is for next time so i'm going to say my words i'm not going to say those words though no what i was going to say i'm uh, thank you very much for watching and i'm going to say goodbye for now <laughs>